Hi, hello everyone. This is Saumya from Bookfeast channel. Today we are going to see the poem on the topic Lines written in the early spring. So, before getting into the poem, just understand the heading Lines written. So, these lines are written in the early spring. So, he stresses particularly in one such spring. In the early spring days, he expresses his words in the mean of poem. So, here we all know uh, William Wordsworth is a naturally love poet. So, he talks about the atmosphere in the nature that gave him pleasure. So, let's three, uh, see through the video what are they. Wordsworth. We all know William Wordsworth is very much uh, fond towards nature. He is known for natural writing. He is known for nature writing. So, in this poem, we are going to see what are the mindsets that it has been portrayed as a poem in the words of William Wordsworth. So, let's see the writer's introduction. Before that, I just want to tell you, I have posted the particular content in uh, Tamil also. If you are in need of that, you can refer the description for the link. Please do like, share, comment, subscribe and channel to get further more updates. So, coming to William Wordsworth, he was born in the year 1770 and he was passed in the year 1850. He has been referred as a major English poet as well as a nature poet as he is very much fond towards nature. And by combining his work with Samuel Tyler Coleridge, he has launched a beautiful work for the romantic age in English literature, which is Lyrical Ballads. And he has been working as a Britain's Poet Laureate from 1843 to 1850, that is until his death for seven years. When you talk about his major works, he has given many works. But here I have listed only few. They are Daffodils, The Solitary Reaper, To the Cuckoo, The Tables Tune, Turned, Lines Composed a Few Miles Above, Tintin Abbey. So let's go into the poem. I heard a thousand blended notes, while in a groove I sat reclined. In that sweet mood, when pleasant thoughts bring sad thoughts to the mind. So... He says that at present he was in a groove and sat it refers to sit and he is sitting under a tree which is covered uh, which is in a beautiful sight. So he is leaning back in a correct position for rest and he can sense something. What is that? He is hearing a thousand blended notes. So blended combination. So notes here refers to these sounds created by birds, leaves and the atmosphere. So, he says in thousands. So, we have to understand that there are many varieties of bird and many varieties of trees, plants, etc. And this makes his mood very soft and sweet. And the thoughts give him pleasantness. He is very pleasant. He is very admired to sit in that place. At the same time, the sweet mood comes up with the remembrance of the sad thoughts to his mind. So, what is that sad thoughts? Any guesses? Yeah, let's see in the upcoming stanza. To have fair works did nature link, the human soul that through me ran. And much it grieved my heart to think, what man has made of man. So, her here refers to nature, where nature is personified. To her fair. So, from when you see from the eyes of the nature, it equalizes human, animals and itself. Where it creates a bond, it creates a link to connect nature and man. But the human soul in him is not taking that act to connect with the nature. He says he is also the one of the human being who makes nature only their pleasure instead of being a relationship. And he, was, uh, he has a very much, he is very much grieved in his heart to think. So what for he is grieved? So he already said that he is very sad and his sad thoughts comes to his mind. Now he grieves for it from the core of the heart. So, that is what man has made of man. So, man, he is creating some circle around himself and he suffers a lot. So, why does man do it? That is a major question by the writer. Through primrose thoughts in that sweet bower, the periwinkle trial its breaths and this my faith that every flower enjoys the air it breathes. So, primrose is a yellow color flower. Thoughts is refers to bunch. And bower, the article shape. When you go for periwinkle, it is also a wild flower which uh, is blue in color. 
and rats is uh, creating a round shape so through the prinsome tufts so he is uh, sitting under the prinsome tree and the prinsome flowers they are in tufts and at the same time periwinkle flower takes place there is just mentioning the names of the flower which he can see there and he says he believes that he faith that every flower enjoys what it enjoys the air it breathes so it enjoys the air and breathe it inside it feels the nature but human being what does we do we actually enjoy in the nature when we see a beautiful sight we start on admiring it and we start on enjoying it but we never feel it by heart we never had love from the heart so but here even the flower it enjoys the air which it breathes and the birds around me hoped and played their thoughts i can't measure but the least motion that uh, sorry motion which they made it seemed a thrill of pleasure so now he uh, first uh, in the before stanza he spoke about flowers now he's speaking about birds so the birds they are around him they are playing they are with very hopefulness and they are playing and their thoughts he cannot uh, measure his thoughts because the happiness in them never expressed a single thought it has many kinds of thought it is enjoying the heaven and the earth whereas by saying that even the poet enjoys very much so there creates a distraction where he could not measure the thoughts of the birds but at least a single motion for him would stress on that there is a thrill of pleasure so there is a sudden change in him that sudden change gives him the pleasure when you go for next stanza the budding twigs spread uh, spread out their fans to catch the breezy air and i must think to all i can that there was pleasure there so the budding twigs even the budding leaves they started coming out and fanning themselves so here fan refers to the opening of the twig to become a leaf even the leaf it wanted to take in air that's the reason it comes out and spreads itself what what does a human do he uh, builds a four cornered room and he stays in it whereas the flower it hurries up to come and enjoy the nature to enjoy the breezy air and he says he must think something what is that he should do all he can and if he does that he'll be enjoying the highest pleasure because pleasure is within the nature if this belief from heaven be sent so this is the belief that heaven has sent me and he says he mentions a current place where he stays he stays in a grove he talks about the grove as a heaven on earth and if such be nature's holy plan so holy plan whom do we think when we speak about holy god or goddess here he captures the sight of nature by equalizing god he says this is the holy plan that nature has for me so i am enjoying it how i not trees sorry have i not reason to lament so lamenting so now he raises a question have i not uh, have i not reason to lament don't i have any reason to start lamenting so there is certainly a reason because he, uh, from the starting you can see that he says if flower enjoys it will enjoy the birds enjoy but he says the man he is not enjoying the nature what man has made of man so what is a man made of man he is simply avoiding all the pleasure of the life and going behind something that is artificial and also he wanted to be away from his happiness he makes his life sorrow by his own deeds and he is very much away from the nature and he suffers a lot the poet he stresses that man suffers a lot he ignores what is the reality he lives in the world of modernity and states that is reality so this is the major concept of the whole poem i have told you and if you want this particular content to be in tamil also we have posted it in our channel for the link please refer the description please like share comment and subscribe our channel to get further more updates thank you